call this meeting of Ohio County Fiscal Court to order on this 23rd day of May, uh, 2023 at 5 p.m. First thing I'm gonna ask are the JT Taylor to come forward to the mic and lead us in a prayer and a pledge to the flag. You would remove your hands. Father, we give you all the thanks and all the praise, Lord, for the day, this beautiful day that you've given us. We thank you, Father, for the ones that scattered here. We ask you, Father, to let it be a good thing for them to be here and to listen to what's going on today, Lord. And we know we're in a lot of trouble, Lord, in the country and all this. And we thank the Lord this day for the ones that's trying to lead us in our government here, our local government. Uh, give them all the respect, Lord, that they deserve and just let the Lord use them as they would. We just uh, give you all the thanks again, Lord, for everything that you mean to us, Lord. We ask you to just watch over us through the meeting. If we have questions, Lord, just let us be, uh, answer those things, Lord, the way that you would have it, Lord. We just give you all the praise, give you all the glory, Lord, for all things. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 We pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. The next thing we have is the uh, West Kentucky Regional Blood Center. The spokesman come forward. There you are. Hello. And uh, hands and gentlemen, let's see, can you take the picture? <laughs> Hi, my name is Vicki Ellis and I'm the Director of Communications, Marketing and Recruitment for the Western Kentucky Regional Blood Center. Um, for those of you who may not know who that blood center is, we are your 100% responsible for the blood used here in Ohio County Hospital, as well as five other hospitals in Western Kentucky and three airbag ambulances. And over the past two years, some of these young folks we're going to recognize tonight have been working towards a goal of becoming a high school hero. And tonight we ask the school court to recognize um, these young folks for their accomplishment um, by proclamation. And then also I would ask them to come forward. Um, they've already received, since they've graduated, they've already received their honor cords and they've already um, received their certificates, but I do recognize publicly. Do you want me to read the proclamation? Uh, you, you sure will. I'm going to sign it, and I want you in the picture when we take okay. pictures. Okay, okay. And uh, as many of these folks as we get up here. Okay. Well, let me do this. Let me go ahead and call forth, then, our group. Let me yeah. come up here and stand behind us up here. Okay. Then you'll come up after you read. Okay. That would be, if they're here, um, and if I say this wrong, I try to do this from memory, so forgive me. It's either Amanda or Angela Hope. Rayla Burton. Skyla Ross, Lydia Thomas, Aiden Cassis, Leela Moore, Corey Kirkpatrick, Anna Porter, Brayden Doherty, Emily Lacefield, Gracie Whitley, Mackenzie Gray, Mason Rowe, and Keely Henderson if you are here. Stand behind us here and we'll sign this. We, yeah, you're going to read the proclamation and join us. Yes, okay, so here's the proclamation. Where does blood donors play a vital role in the healthcare system of Western Kentucky, including the county of Ohio, Kentucky? And whereas voluntarily donating one unit of blood may save as many as three lives, and whereas 15% of the local blood supplies collected from high school blood donors, and whereas the Western Kentucky Regional Blood Center ensures the safety of, blood, of the blood supply and successfully recruits, collects, processes, and delivers 100% of the life-saving blood products as needed in Ohio County, and whereas those Ohio County high school students have met the high school hero requirement. Now therefore, I, David Johnston, Judge Executive of Ohio County, Kentucky, along with the Ohio County Magistrates, do hereby proclaim May 2023 as High School Hero Month. I recognize these class of 2023 graduates as high school heroes. 
I also encourage all healthy citizens in Ohio County to follow their example by donating blood regularly. Signed today, May 23rd, 2023, by Judge Executive David Johnston. Yeah. Come on, I'm getting a picture with us. Come over like you like each other. High school heroes. Okay. Is Mason Rowe here? I want y'all to know that Mason Rowe has doubled the requirement and he has actually received the first ever Don Williams Achievement Award for donating one gallon before graduating. Oh my goodness. That's cool. She said he's also a commercial pilot license. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Really do appreciate seeing everybody's here. We like to we like to have people to come. And um, uh, Bo Ben couldn't be here tonight because of a work uh, related uh, uh, deal. And, uh, <coughs> Master's not a full time job, so everybody's got to do. It. Everybody's got to uh, have other jobs. Um, so uh, the next thing I have here is we advertise for bids on the uh, Chiggerfield water line. So Larry, do you feel like opening the trip and reading it to us? We probably will not move on that tonight. We just got one. Yes. Yeah. And we bid on it, and then, but we're probably not going to take any action tonight. We're just going to open, open it and read it aloud. And Miranda will record it. Can we? Discuss about possibly moving on this before we end up losing our money. Let's see what the bid is. We're talking about. We have to include the water, the whole entire water district, to come in before we actually uh, award it. I don't think they have anything to do with the money that we've got now, do they? Okay. It was a grant, and we don't want that grant to go back. Okay. But we won't jump through our hoops, right? Sure. This is from Bobby Love for my sons. Rick Morse, you respectful get fit. I expected more than one, but we only got one day. Was today the deadline, Chris? I had others call and talk about it, but they didn't. Larry, I'm sorry, who did you say it was? Electoral and Sons. Rochester Road in. 
the chair bill. Oh, that part of it. Judge? Yes. That's not broke out that way. I had the water line all together at 50,000 linear feet. I did have the engineering cost broke out from loop one and loop two. No, well, I know, but we actually need it for individually because we're actually only have the funding for that one section now. I've got a unit pricing, so it should be very easy to determine. So that is the whole two miles. Would you want to come up here and break it down for us, or? It should be able to take that uh, linear foot price for the pipe and just deduct twenty-six thousand to make it the second one. So that first one that we would be would be five what? Five hundred fifty thousand. And that would be just the water line yes. itself. itself. Uh, what made this so expensive? I mean, we're talking about a ditch and piece of pipe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, pipe's expensive, uh, and then we're totally speculating too what you have to have uh, until the engineer actually gets out the designs. We don't really know what you need until that's done. Yes, the engineering cost is just that is for six on there, right? Yeah. That's right. So that 550 is that going engineering cost and no. engineering cost is 120 for that first phase. So the 550 for the pipe. So you add that on to the and again, those are just estimates without yeah. hitting the ground running. It's hard to put up. Um, why is why is phase one cheaper than phase two? That's, that's, that's you're talking about the engineering costs. That's that's beyond. I don't know. That was engineering numbers. I just I just put those in. So we don't have anything to do with engineering. We just have to hire that out. Yeah, uh, give it to Miranda so she can record it. And we definitely going to have can I, can I look at it like this maybe discuss it. We're definitely going to discuss it more uh, in the near future. Okay? We, uh, thank you. We'll go, go ahead. And we might ought on. to have maybe a special meeting on it. We'll look and see. I've got some questions I need to look at to be at We can meet there. next meeting. And I don't care to come back. Okay. Again, I've tried to speculate how many hydrants you would need, fittings. Uh, so I tried to put that in there to kind of give you an idea of what we had in mind. Okay. But I can definitely, if anybody wants to give me a call, feel free to give me a call and I can try to explain it. Uh, okay. I probably will try to get mine around. And I don't care to meet with you one day. So okay. You want to, uh, we'll do that. Uh, Larry, I'm going to come and meet the whole night. We'll call you and come and meet Larry and I on Monday. Y'all care if I dismiss myself? Sure. I'll be fine. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for coming. We moved it up so people could leave after. Thank you, guys. Um, now you have the uh, May the 9th minutes are before you. We need a motion to approve. Motion to approve the minutes. Motion by Michael McKinney. Second. Second by Larry Morphy. Any discussion, corrections, or additions? Discussion, corrections, or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion passes. Uh, you, before you, you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers, including a late list. Need a motion to approve. I'll make a motion. Motion by Jason Bullock. Second go to late list just second, Judge. Second by uh, Kenneth Callaway.
you know, we're just sketching. Questions about it? Being none, all in favor say aye. Opposed, like sign. The bills, claims, payments, and transfers are reported or uh, approved. We have the clerk's April 2023 20, financial report. You do have it, correct? Yes, sir. Uh, we just need to acknowledge that we got it. So moved. Motion by Larry Morphy. Second. Second by Kent Callaway. Is there any discussion? Any discussion? Uh, Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, Opposed like sign. The, her uh, financial thing is, is received. The clerk's receipt of the sheriff delinquency property taxes. We did this last time too, but there was another revision, and so she said yeah. it and she's numbered it. We did it before, but there's a revision. <laughs> and this is an exception. Do I have a motion? Make a motion. Motion by Kenneth Calloway. I'll second for knowledge. Second by Jason Bullock. Uh, all in, well, any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like sign. The motion's carried. We need to rename uh, one of the uh, treasurer's kids, I mean bank accounts. <laughs> Uh, explain, explain there what we're going to name. Uh, we had um, the last bank account we opened, which makes 19 now. We call it Park and Golf Credit Card Receipts. And basically, basically what that was for is to hold that money in there, then transfer it to the appropriate fund. Through our audit, we discovered that we also have to do this with our occupational tax, which is split between general fund and emergency services. So we have to deposit it into one bank account, and then I have to split it into two. So we're renaming it to a transfer bank account. So it's called a transfer bank account? Yeah, I think, yeah. So you would take care of that? Yeah. The bank, instead of having to close that out and open a new one, she said if I could just get it the minutes to rename it, that they could yeah. do that. And let's put to accommodate the occupational tax split. Yeah. Are you motion? Is that okay? Sure. Okay. You get it. Yeah. Who seconds? Second. Second. Can you get it? Jason. 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 Any questions? Approved questions? Being none. All in favor say aye. Opposed like so. Okay. Charlie Shields is not here. He's probably chasing another truck somewhere. Make right? a motion to pass on the Charlie Shields. Yeah, we're going to pay some of that for today. Uh, okay, Linda, you're up. Thank you. And we need, we, we will have a resolution to pass for him. Did you okay. give it a number? Uh, I think copies for Miranda. I think she. Yeah. Okay. We uh, what it is, we've got a grant for new video core equipment uh, for the detention center. Uh, that was brought to me by KJA, and it's backed by the Department of Local Governments. It's gonna work similar like the uh, grant that Best got for the election equipment here a while back. Uh, sign the resolution, we'll send it in. They'll send us the equipment, and then the uh, Department of Local Governments will cut us a check to pay for that equipment. 100% of the cost. So you need we need a motion for Good. this resolution. Do you have to, the resolution doesn't have an amount in it, Linda? Do you have uh, the packet uh, that Brian McCobby has a has an amount, I believe on the back page, is the total amount. And that's for the hard uh, the hardware, the enclosure, the car, uh, partnership services. $40,746.28. Which will be included on in the resolution. Okay. The resolution number is 2023-25. Any questions for Landon? Is this, is this, is Landon, you're probably going to ask us for something bigger, right? Are you getting the money from somebody else? 
You do what? You get the money from somebody else? Yeah, it's coming. Cool. Yeah, we're good. You can use that anytime you can do that, we're good. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate uh, it. Oh, thanks for that. Who's the motion? Who's the motion of the motion? Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll make the motion. Oh, I'll I thought that was. I'm sorry. I'll second. Kenneth seconded it, and uh, Jason made it. I'm sorry. Upon the request of the county attorney uh, and something that I have to, uh, we want to go into closed session under KRS 61.810, Chapter 1, Section C and F. Have a motion? Motion. motion. Second. Yeah. Motion by uh, Larry Martin, second by Kenneth Galloway. Okay. We're going to go somewhere. Yeah. 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 Six to the eleven. Need motion to go back into open session. Motion by Kenneth Calway. Second by Michael McKinney. Oh. All in favor, sit down. Let's go back to me. <laughs> Never have been there, though. We're back in open session. And I will tell you during closed session, we did not conduct any, any uh, business. Uh, we just uh, discussed some issues concerning litigation. Uh, uh, in closed session, we did talk about what's listed next is employee, employee policy. So we're skipping that until we get further advice from the county attorney. Actually, he's going to write us the motion. Uh, next, we have one personnel issue. That's all we got, right, one. You don't have any more, do you? No. Okay. Have one personnel issue that I've talked to the Wage Committee about. Uh, at the, in the judge executive's office, uh, Miranda Funk. We're changing her job title to Judge Executive's Assistant, which it was Judge Executive Secretary in the, in the days. And then somehow we got it caught up in a lump with all the administrative assistants. So uh, changing that and correcting it, it's full time. There's added duty, been added duties too. Uh, the new rate of pay will be 1970 for that. It'll be effective uh, next Sunday, which is what was 28. Is that before the uh, new budget? Yes. Okay. So, roll call. Johnson? Yes. Callaway? Yes. Morphew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Johnson? I mean, Bullock? Yes. Sorry, I'm over here in the middle A. Good news. <laughs> uh, also, uh, Larry Cam has a, uh, has a, uh, uh, excuse himself from the regional jail committee. We thought he's come back, but we got where he was not. And we found out last week that the, our jailer can serve on the committee, which makes so much sense. So I'm, I'm naming Landon Spurlock is the uh, uh, representing Ohio County Fiscal Court on the uh, regional jail board, which will accompany. Uh, Wayne Crow and Charlie Shields, so Ohio County has three. The other two counties has two at this time. So that uh, Larry, did, he didn't want to go back on it? I understand he didn't. Yeah. From reliable sources. <laughs> yeah, I talked to him the other day. Because that, he, he had indicated to me he wasn't for sure. This was some time ago. So, yeah. um, but he, he just, I think he's enjoying the retirement. Life a little bit, so. so, so we got that. That makes sense to me. I guess. Uh, well, Landon probably does need to be on that. Sure. Okay, go ahead and roll call that. Johnson. Yes. Callie. Yes. Morphew. Yes. Johnson. Yes. Morphew. Yes. McKinney. Yes. Yes. Um, a few months ago, it's so unlike me to do this, but I got the cart before the horse, and I named our reapportionment committee board. Told them and everything, but 
come find out I couldn't actually do it until the uh, uh, after the primary election. So we're past the primary election now. So I'm just the same names I gave y'all before. Chris Fuller, Scott Parker, and Henry Christ. And they meet the guidelines of how they had to be appointed from three different districts uh, and and three uh, three different interests. So uh, we've got a preacher and a proprietor of a large company and a doctor. So I think it's pretty uh, pretty. And is this, hang up, so is this what we're talking about, the redistricting? or Reapportionment, that's in the county. Uh, same thing you said, except it's called reapportionment. They're just called reapportionment, that's, but that's what we're doing. Yeah. Right. So I guess I just need to go ahead and uh, do that, and I guess you go ahead and read uh, roll call again. Mike Johnson? Yes. Callaway? Yes. Morphew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? After seeing those maps, I'm not really sure, but I'll say yes. <laughs> okay, but I will explain something. This is the next steps in this. Uh, Bess and uh, Grad have prepared some recommendations, so we'll set up a meeting with these folks, and along with uh, Charlie Shields and Bess Ralph and uh, Arthur Leach, if he can come to be there, but they won't be voting members. Just explain the map, and we are hoping that. Uh, that's all going to be uh, good between me. I'll have to be at the first meeting to swear everybody in. They have to be sworn in, just like, uh, and we have to pay them something. So I've set aside a hundred dollars from elections, a hundred dollars a piece that we'll pay them, and hopefully they'll have to have one meeting. What will this take effect immediately? Well, the next election. Uh, also, you mean we won't? So we're just in our first term of election. If we vote on this at the end of the year, this year it won't take effect until the next election, right. the next court election. Yes. Oh, I thought it would go into effect. No, you still represent the people. You can't call somebody because we're going to be in another district. And they call well, you. Well, that's kind of what I wondered. I thought when we're starting so early, I thought that maybe <laughs> but it'll be the next court. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So anyhow, that's that's how that will go. Uh, Next, we have committee reports. Uh, we had a road committee meeting, but we didn't have very many attended. Uh, Michael walked in just at the very end of it, and Jason was there. And I, pre I presented the uh, flex uh, recommendations that we're applying to the state for. And then when they come back and the state approves it, well, then the court has to vote on it, and every member will have to sign it. Can we have a copy of it, Judge? Yes. And uh, I was the only one there at the meeting. Jason didn't get anything. <laughs> but but we're not trying to make it, uh, it, we'll make it up over the years. If a person did not do well this year, they'll do better next year. And in your case, Larry, we, you've got another big chunk coming in from uh, Governor's discretionary fund as soon as they turn the list. Which road is that? To? Hopefully. Yeah. And actually, I, I, he, when he talked to me, I did say that I would set out because I would. I need a little bit more next time for I'm trying to get a road that I can't afford with just if, a little bit. If more. we stick with that formula thing, Jason would never get enough to do anything, and uh, Michael wouldn't get enough to do very much. So that way, they might have skip a year to get enough in one year to do uh, some good. You ever said don't have many roads to start with? <laughs> well, that's the same my people. <laughs> All right. Well, that was that committee. Was there any other committees met? Any other committees met? Uh, okay. If no more committees met, uh, what about the suicide prevention? That's a hot thing again. We've had two. In the yeah, last week. we got. I mean, we're meeting. We have met about some paints and bills. Looking for it's not. You know, for September, we haven't really. Than anything other than prepare for September. They have, we exchange emails. We've not had a meeting. So okay. I told Landon, he was talking to me last meeting. When I found out we'd have a meeting, I'd let him know. Yeah, it's been it's been pretty mm -hmm. scary lately. Yeah. The last few days we've had a lot of them. Uh, let's go on to Magistrate's comments and requests. We're going to Michael. No comments from the first district at this time. Uh, I'm going to make a motion. I'd like to. Uh, Nominate. You registered in your room. Nominate. I'd like to nominate uh, Ann Melton's county treasurer. 
for another four year term starting July 1st, I'll say, uh, 2023. We have a uh, nomination, a second of the nomination. So, uh, Miranda, you got a roll call. Got it. Johnson. Yes. Cadway. Yes. Morfield. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. For discussion, real quick, can we get rid of her if we want to take it? If we do the four year term, it's pretty, term, it's pretty it's, yes, but it's pretty darn complicated. Okay, we'll go ahead and uh, you say have yes. Catch, you have to catch your stealing. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, it's a uh, it's done deal. Uh, okay, uh, you got anything else? No, that's at this time. Ken, that's for me. Uh, Larry, no, uh, just no, thank you. Anybody else got anything for the good community? You're late. Come on up. Apologize for being late, but I was out from Larry's to pick on a whole league. So, uh, the reason I want to come up here, I was going to do the road committee, but I want to ask permission to advertise for a little mini excavator that not only the solid waste can use, the road department can use, and the park can use. Like when Bo and them has a waterline leak, they don't have to go wait like last time they had one they had to dig it up by hand because nick had all the stuff out nick can get out there faster on a little mini clean out ditches than he can the other one because we can pull it behind a pickup truck ballpark figure what were you talking about mr ballpark 58 to 68 i can buy one today for under fifty-eight thousand. and that's a new one that's a brand and he's going to do it from solid waste funds because he don't have to buy a truck he's been buying the truck from solid well, waste funds He's fixed up in good shape for that now. And you can build, build for that. If yeah. I use it under solid waste, we get $135 back an hour. Yeah. And, the rates. and you're still billing for the truck. We're billing for the we're truck. We write, I don't say we write a check, but we transfer every month. <coughs> we write a check back to the county every month. And so you're making money off of me. So. Uh, what do y'all think about him advertising yeah, for us? Right. still got to vote. Okay, okay. Do you need it in a motion? Or? Yeah, I let's guess. do it there. So much. Now, make sure y'all understand that I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but the the money to pay for it will have to come out of surplus money. I thought it came from he gets money back for using the truck and the equipment. Well, that's after the fact. You got to pay for it first. Yeah. Can we can we can we put in the motion that the money that comes back when it's filled, where does that go? Did it go back into surplus? We tried this once before when Joe was here and yeah. something would happen. We couldn't do that because they even put the solid waste funds into a different account. I think it was, I don't know what happened. That was the Ann's, more Ann's thing. It, it's, it is, it is absolutely a great deal to do, but just, you know, you have to pay for that equipment up front. Does he have any money billed out right now, or is this all 58, or do you have any from? I, I really liked how the judge described this. Okay. People think extra money goes in a big black hole. Well, that's the same big black hole you have to dig into when you have to pay for something up front. So it's it's in that big black hole, which at the end of the fiscal year, you know, we'll have surplus. And I'm assuming you're just bidding today. Just yeah, bidding. Just bidding. Yeah. Uh, let's make the motion. He made the motion. Larry, bid. I'll Morgan second his motion. Made the motion and Jason Bullock seconded. So this is just for allowing the advertising. So we still got proof. And we already have a trailer because I have a trailer that we use and we just leave it loaded. And that way if anybody tears it up. But every year when we buy a truck, this is the same way. We're just, instead of buying the truck, we're buying the Usually, yeah. Jason, we wait every two years on solid waste because yeah. the way the money works, we pay back. But our discounts kind of went out after COVID and we haven't bought one since then. Do you want to place the ad yourself or get the information to Miranda and she'll do it? Don't matter. Where would she want? Well, yeah. I, I'll get it to her. I'll okay. get it to her. Yeah. What, when do you want to take bid from the Next fiscal court meeting, or that's up to this court. Next fiscal court, because I have them in here. Are you going to be at the next meeting? We can't buy it anyway until the end of the budget. No, we won't be. Have we discussed that? Um, let me look and see if we have anything so left. I don't care what it will be. If we could just set up and not, put it'll over. have to be in July. Charlie, I have a question. Is this for rubber track excavator or can it be a Yeah, you can still, still do that. We can open still it with rubber, rubber table rubber. until you get back. You can. That's what we Nick recommended. It's a steel track with rubber on. Um, so it wouldn't tear up our roads when we got on it. Okay. Wow. That's what I, like. yeah. I guess all the folks say aye. Aye. Both like sign. We'll work out the details when we get to it. <laughs> Thank you. Anybody else got anything for good body? Anybody else got anything, Sheriff? 
All right. Uh, this meeting is now adjourned. We'll see you back here in a little bit.